Now there is another technique known as source transformation technique in which we can convert a voltage source into a current source and a current source into a voltage source. In this class I will tell you how to convert a voltage source into a current source. Now see here a voltage source in series with a resistance is given here. Let us say it is a voltage source of voltage V and it is a resistance R. Okay. Now I can convert this voltage source into a current source. How? We can convert like this. Now you can see here I have converted the this voltage source into a current source and this resistance in parallel with the this current source. Now the value of this current source will be that is V by R. Okay. And same resistance will come into the parallel with this current source. Okay. The resistance here was in the series with the voltage source and that resistance is in parallel with this current source and the value of this current source is that is V by R. So, so it's very easy to convert. Now let, now let us see one problem based on this. This is a circuit given here. We need to find the current in this branch. Here one current source and a voltage source is given to us. Now what I will do is I will convert this voltage source into a current source. How? Let us see here. You can see here I have converted this voltage source into a current source and the value of this current source is V by R that is 10 by 5 okay 10 by 5 and this resistance come into the parallel with this current source okay you can see here it is in parallel and this is our previous current source here okay now let us rearrange this circuit here what I have done is I have shifted this current source here and I have shifted this resistance this side okay you can see here and the value of 5 10 by 5 is equal to 2 ampere I have shifted this current source this side okay now you can see here at this node if you apply KCL 2 plus 8 10 ampere current will be flowing in this branch which will get divided into this two branches okay but we need the current in this branch now I can make use of current division rule here okay that is that is total current into at the numerator I will take the opposite branch current we need the we need to find a current here in this branch but I will take the resistance of opposite branch that is 5 ohm at the numerator and at the denominator I will add both of them so in this way I will get the result as 50 by 15 that will be 10 by 3 ampere so this is how we make use of source transformation technique okay in the next lecture we will see current source to voltage source transformation okay